My name is Sharon Oja Igwurube, as you know, and I play the role of EVA in Splossom this series. Finally, someone is addressing the different kinds of problems that friends actually face. Realistic problems. I felt like it was such a beautiful mix because it's the truth. In some friendships, you have the rich one, the one that is upcoming, the one that is a wannabe, the one that is self-righteous, which was the exact mix between the four girls. So when I read the script, I was like, ah, every people will identify themselves in these characters. Very, very dramatic. As you guys know, Bisala is one of my best friends. And as you know, Edie is also one of my best friends. I worked with two of my best friends. I felt at home. It was amazing. The chemistry was mind-blowing. And then Enado, as we call her our ankle, because she's so conscious of her ankle. <laughs> she's called our mommy, but she's so beautiful, so easy to work with. And she was like the shoulder to constantly cry and on set. Our bond was amazing and we just loved each other we loved upon each other and in fact we used to even gang up against director set <laughs> yes i shouldn't say it but we used to do it <laughs> but it was amazing i loved them i would do it 10 more times with them again i think we should do it more we should do it more than we say it um i feel like it's nice to say it but we don't do it it would be nicer to do it because I find that men forgive themselves faster. Men let go of things faster. But women, we seem to find, I would never do this because we're naturally emotional human beings. And I don't judge us for being that way. It's how God created us. Um, there's a novel I read where the woman said to her, her niece, she said, in the hearts of man, God puts the holies of holies. And the hearts of women, God put longings. That wasn't literal. I, I took it as God gives men that okay is logic and then with women we're constantly using our emotions to judge things and which is why it's a beautiful partnership sometimes i wish we used that same emotion to just nurture each other in, as in love as women it's hard because even me too sometimes i'm like ah this girl this thing she did <laughs> but i'm a very soft person so i think i easily forgive i hope in the nearest future women genuinely support women nobody will be able to conquer without women Ibia's biggest moment was when she realized that she didn't need Woju and she could do so much more and achieve so much more without that toxic relationship in her life, which was technically her breaking moment. And when she realized that she didn't really need anybody's validation to do or achieve her dreams, which is majorly her number one problem, she was slightly insecure and you know, because she wasn't as rich and she was almost, she used to form. She don't get, but she did. Ask if she get. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, no. Because I have a fantastic relationship with my mother. Fantastic relationship with my siblings. Um, I also seem to have, thank you Jesus, a good love life. <laughs> which is very private, but... It's very blessed. Um, I am a go-getter and I'm a very confident woman. So I don't think I can relate to TV. The mental struggle of insecurity. We all have natural insecurities, but Evie's insecurity was very loud. Personally, I'm not an insecure woman. So I struggle to understand why are you doing this thing? Sister, use your head. <laughs> but, that's what made it a character. So I had to struggle to stay in it. So it was difficult for me mentally to not be the boss lady. I don't know, I just, I just couldn't relate. I couldn't relate. Yeah, and I'll teach her how to love upon herself, 100%. Like I said earlier, just this, this struggle with her insecurity and yeah. I'll start with a handmade tale. Obviously, House of Dragons because it's showing at the moment. I watched obviously the highlights for the Big Brother show on there. I watched there's this series. It's called La Something, the Spanish one. Hey God, how can I forget my feed? Hey God. But yeah, majority of the shows that I watch are on there. I recently started watching Domina as well. I started watching before Domina. I watched something else before Domina. 
blank. But yeah. Hard work, consistency, and believing in your dream. Above all, I give my entire credit of who I am to God. Because I remember coming into this industry and telling God, please make me good, make me a formidable force, and I would never feel to talk about you if I have an opportunity. So my number one force that I stand on, which is my rock, is God. Outside of that, I work hard and I don't play with my job. I'm very diligent. I'm very time conscious. I go in when it comes to my work. This is the time. What other time is there to be in a series that stars four powerful, beautiful women doing their thing? And let me tell you the best part of Flossom. We're all beautiful women, but the show is not about our beauty. It's about our, our real lives. People are going through things. People are having relationship problems. You know, we're in a social media era where people forget that there's real life. There's real life. Where people are going through problems, you just take one picture, oh, my marriage is perfect, now lie. People are crying at home. Doesn't mean the marriage is bad. So this show literally addressed friendship, relationship issues which are realistic, spiritual problem, <laughs> family problem. In fact, um, fertility issues, which a lot of young women are facing. And it's like a stigma. You know, it's a hard topic to discuss. So I feel like it was just amazing to be in a show that was addressing real life issues. And I got to start in it with gorgeous women. So yeah, I'm happy. I remember the end goal. The end, that is legit. I say to myself, Sharon, this moment will pass and they would see the end goal so for me because acting is a passion for me even if i'm on set till 6 a.m people don't know that you've been on set till 6 a.m they'll just sit and say this one knows sabi actor so you remember that the end product has to give and this is a sacrifice that you have to make to give that greatness it's just temporary it's not forever it's a few hours you will see get beat if you go see baby girl just hold Oh, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah.